Hello, everyone. My name is Calvin Wing. I'm the technical marketing engineer for Fortinet. And today, what I want to discuss with everyone is how you can use SIM and SOAR within a SOC environment to help optimize the efficiency, to help with the automation, so that you can deal and handle with alerts um, a lot better than you would with manual processes and um, if you have a lot of alerts. All right, let's go ahead and go into today's demo. Uh, I'll first give a quick overview on uh, both the 40 sim and 40 store platform and then go into this quick demo where you have a SOC environment, uh, environment in the enterprise with no dedicated security and network team. So it's a fairly small IT team, limited visibility across uh, many different vendors and products, and there's no communications between uh, products or teams. Um, manual and or complicated approach to uh, responses, so they're using multiple consoles, they're using complex tools to um, uh, remediate and respond to any, uh, any threat or incident. Um, so here, why, um, why Fortinet, right? It's, it's gonna be that single platform for unified response for both network and security operators. The powerful customization and out of the box content ready to be used for faster response. So we have out of the box um, connections in both 40SIM and 40SOAR that customers can use to connect to their various different um, uh, products and, and vendors in the different environment, whether they're on-premises or in the cloud. The flexible multi-tenancy that we have where uh, it's really service provider ready, the scalable architecture, the integrated response with uh, Fortinet security fabric, as well as other vendors for, the, uh, for that agnostic approach. So 40SIM and 40SOAR, while they can work together very, very well, and they have built-in integration, which we'll take a look at, uh, at this later on, they can work independent, independently off of one another. So you don't need both uh, to work well. You can install either 40 SIM or 40 SOAR independently if you already have a SIM or if you already have a SOAR. But if you want that tight knit integrations, that built in, uh, that na uh, native um, built in functionalities, then you, you are going to want to look at these two products together. And finally, simplified architecture and UI designed not for the developer, uh, but all, but is it really designed for that security and uh, network practitioners, but developers can also use this uh, very well, right? Um, so here in this demo, we're going to be taking a look at you know, a simple use case where you have firewall, uh, in this case, a FortiGate continuously sending logs to 40SIM. 40SIM will then collect and analyze for any abnormal behavior. It will also look um, at 40, 40 gate itself um, to get the different metrics that we set up. So, you know, the CPU, memory usage. Um, then the IT team is going to analyze events for abnormalities. This process um, can be automated with event handlers and decides on how to respond with automation playbooks that we that will be that is located in 40 SOAR. The playbook can actually be executed within 40 SIM. So this is where the built-in native integration comes into place between 40 SIM and 40 SOAR. So uh, network or uh, security operators can execute automated playbooks within 40 SIM itself, rather or in 40 SOAR as well. 40 SOAR uh, then execute threat analysis where they go to virus total, uh, threat intelligence like virus total, or if you want to add additional threat intelligence, perhaps uh, 40 guard comes back with results to see uh, if it's malicious, if it's not malicious in this case, is the URL that um, a, a user's behind FortiGate is communicating with, is that malicious or is that not malicious? Uh, if virus total comes back with malicious, then administrator can either add an extra automation step within their playbooks to block malicious, the malicious URL and IP if found in the FortiGate, um, uh, or they can take some other additional step. So let's go ahead and dive now into the demo. All right, so the first thing we're gonna be taking a look at here is the uh, 40SIM product. 
and this is the dashboard that you will see when you first log in. You know, 40 Sim comes with out of the box dashboards, or you can really create your own. We have a variety of different dashboards that customers can use out of the box. Um, you know, these dashboards give you the 360 overview that you need to get a grasp on what's happening within your environment. So the various different security incidents, let's say if we're going to 40, 40 Sim uh, dashboard itself, we can get, uh, if we go into events, we can get a summary of what's, you know, what's happening within our reporting devices, uh, uh, what's the event rate, the performance event types, uh, the different incidents, the audits, what's, um, you know, what is happening within 40 sim system itself. If there's any system change within the last hour, has there been any failed log on, successful log on, et cetera, et cetera. If we go into the Fortinet security fabric dashboard that comes um, with it as well, we can see the different Fortinet product that communicates to this 40 sim system. So, you know, within 40 sandbox or the top source country by malware reported by 40 Sandbox, um, top malware uh, on 40 gate, top zero day malicious URL, et cetera, et cetera. We can go into the incident section and uh, again, quickly get a good overview on what's happening within our environment in terms of, you know, uh, by incidents, by category, by, um, security by performance availability change. We see that there's two, uh, 213 incidents that have high uh, security severe uh, incident um, category, 128 medium incident, et cetera, et cetera. And 40 Sandbox detects uh, 60 different network attacks from these hosts. So we can dive deeper if we wanted to on these different hosts um, and we can uh, see exactly the uh, the different information like the incident status the resolution has it been resolved yet if not we can open a case on it uh, these uh, configuration uh, management database we can look to see the various different devices applications that are um, connected to this 40 sim so which 40 gate uh, is sending its syslog or information to um, the 40 40 sim itself, the health overview of these different devices, the performance health. So if I go uh, specifically, if I go into a an example, uh, 40 gate VM that I created uh, earlier, I can see that the 40 gate VM is up, the performance health is normal, the uh, average mem memory utilization is 20%. I can see the device type model, the serial number, the IP address, and various different information. I can also not only um, uh, monitor devices, but also monitor applications, users, uh, as well with our with 40 Sims built in uh, user uh, UAVA. Uh, the, I can uh, do rule based uh, uh, correlation where uh, any events coming in, I can uh, correlate that based on the rules that I created. Um, here and I can, again, all these comes out, out of the box or I can create new ones. Uh, there are different playbooks that are available that I can connect to within uh, 40 store itself. So these different playbooks are uh, on 40 store and they, they were, uh, they are synced onto here and I can actually execute the, play, the playbooks uh, from uh, 40 sim itself rather than going to a different console and executing the playbooks there. All right, so that's 40 sim uh, from a very high level overview. Now, if we switch view and go into the 40 store dashboard, uh, again, the first thing a knock or soft analyst is going to see. Uh, once more, it comes with out of the box dashboards that customers can easily customize to their specific needs. And uh, these dashboards are actually what's given to us uh, based from or what was created based from customer feedback. So here, um, you know, you have the executive view dashboard where executives logging in can get the various informations like the total alerts resolved, the incident timeline, the un 
resolve incidents by severity, all these different um, metrics, the ROI, and they can customize it to their specific need if they feel like the information is not enough. If you're a SOC admin, you can go into the, the SOC admin dashboards, uh, look at the open alert count, you can look at the unassigned critical alerts. Here we have a Fortinet threat map and, and the open alerts and, and then some more, right? Um, if we go into, uh, you know, 40 store connectors. This is how you would connect to the various different products, the various uh, different vendors is through these connectors. We have over 450 different uh, connections available for customers to use right up, out of the box. If they don't um, see a product within our connector store, they can actually create their own with our connector wizard, or they can, uh, if there's a new action that came out, uh, within one of the integration, they can uh, customize it by cloning the connector itself and creating their own connector fairly easily. All right, so that's the connectors that we have. That actually is also can also be um, synced with 40 sim and executed within 40 sim. So that's where the flexible response platform that we have comes in, where you're able to. Um, either execute uh, a certain action or, or playbook within 40 sim within 40 store for that faster response. Now, the playbooks are, you can think of as a series of logical steps that you, know, you can, that uh, customers can take within their SOC environment. Uh, and if we look at one of these playbooks, uh, we see that it's, it's really a, a low code way to, um, you know, create um, to convert uh, what you would normally do in a manual process when you're trying to remediate or investigate some sort of, of uh, incident or threats, right? So here we're, we're starting out with uh, a step, we're setting our variables, we're creating records of our investigation, we're, we're matching, we're using uh, connectors to match uh, source IP to uh, we're getting the I source IP reputation from virus total. Is it malicious? Is it not? If it's safe, create a record on that. If it's malicious, let's go ahead and also create, uh, not only create a record on that and populate that into our various different modules, which can also be customized. Uh, hence, um, why uh, 40 store is very special is how adaptable we are um, to the customer environment. And then uh, based on that result, if it is malicious, we and we do create or update the record, we're gonna block it on, um, you know, we're gonna take an action, right? So in this case, we're gonna block an external IP address within, you know, our firewall or something else, or uh, uh, one of our other products, right? So that's that's where Playbooks comes in is, you know, now, now that you have that integrations with the various different products of various different vendors, and you um, create Playbooks, the series of logical steps within um, your environment and you're taking these sort of actions, um, not only are you able to populate, uh, take these actions from the Fortisore dashboard itself, but also from within the Fortisim dashboard as well. You're able to have this risk category, uh, risk uh, alert categorization where you can quickly view what's happening within your environment, what you should focus on, you know, lo uh, low level alerts, critical level alerts, um, you know, alerts by type. You can uh, deep dive into certain, uh, certain alerts, certain incidents, and get the various different correlation. Uh, we have an AI recommendation engine that uh, is machine learning based and can quickly um, suggest the severity type for you based on historical data. So you're getting this um, platform that is both uh, uh, that is agnostic by nature. So you can um, you can quickly work with the different products within the different uh, vendors ind uh, independently without relying on 40 sim itself. But within 40 sim, you can actually execute uh, playbooks and connectors similar to how you would in 40 sort, and uh, you can resp uh, then therefore respond to these. Uh, 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 events uh, faster, right? So any events that, that comes in in real time in our analytics, uh, you can actually execute the playbook. And that's what we're going to be uh, taking a look at right now. 
All right, so I am in a Windows workstation right now. Uh, I'm logged. Uh, I'm, I have a fake site database that I found online and it essentially list, um, you know, as a list of all the fake webs, uh, websites slash uh, phishing websites. So if I click on, on wonderful link, I can see that FortiGuard actually categorized this as phishing and it has been blocked. Now, if I go back into my um my 40 sim i can see here in real time it has detected it has already been, uh, the logs um has already been sent to 40 sim where uh, uh, the url was blocked because it, it belonged to a denied category within 40 gate um, but i want to get more information is it truly malicious so i'll go ahead and execute a playbook go ahead and execute the playbook 240 soar in the meantime i'll go into 40 soar itself refresh the page you can see that 40 soar is actually executing the url to get um, a reputation so i just finished completing executing it and the reputation of um, this url is actually not available so um, the threat intelligence from virus total actually could not categorize it as phishing in me while 40 guard actually can so it really shows the uh, effectiveness of our threat intelligence and really the uh, flexible response that we have here within 40 sim where you're able to quickly get additional information uh, from a single pane of glass, right? From from 40 sim itself, rather than logging to 40 soar. But if you're all already in 40 soar and you want to create um, and you want to um, do the same thing, you can. Um, obviously, this can all be automated. Uh, you don't need to um, go into every single uh, event log and uh, look at it and then execute the playbook. All the, these steps could be done uh, autom automatically. But I just wanted to, uh, to show everyone here how you would normally um, perhaps do it, um, you know, step by step, right? So uh, here, like, um, you can have the uh, automated action steps within 40 sim that you can take or within 40 sword itself. Uh, additionally, if I wanted to take additional steps, like I wanted to block this uh, IP this URL, if it wasn't already available, I could just include um, an, another playbook or include additional steps within that um, playbook that I just executed. So that concludes the end of the demo. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Thank you.